This is David Love with Sunwise Power and Battery, and I've been working with this university on seismic related projects for over 10 years. While it started with a few components here and a few components there, it's built into an account where we develop and build all the entire system for this university. Early September 2019 is when I started here. My uh, first project um, was a system that was uh, pretty mechanical. Uh, we ended up naming it the swing set. Um, big structure, customers needed, uh, really they needed a system that was capable of handling, you know, tough terrain, dust, dirt, snow, wind, crazy locations, being a helicopter in. We designed it to fit both of our solar gear and also the university seismic gear as well and have as much of it uh, logically pre-wired as possible so that deployment time is minimal. We've done all the mechanical design, the pipe cutting, the threading, uh, figuring out the weights, um, especially the electrical, um, you know, all the solar system. We were in the middle of middle of our swing set builds um, and a customer came uh, told us that they had some very remote uh, locations um, up on top of volcanoes. The hut enclosure that we built is really a variant of the swing sets and it's really designed for very high snow load areas. And also the other part of it is the logistics on these are typically flown in by a helicopter. So they want all of our stuff and their stuff as compact as possible, but still protected from the very, very heavy, wet snow that literally crushes other enclosures. It's a swing set and a smaller package. <laughs> um, bigger enclosure, but smaller package. Hardest part about the hut was really just getting the enclosure design uh, you know, ironed out. The customer came to us with a an idea of an enclosure, um, but we had a set of blueprints that were uh, kind of the rough sketch that we started with. We used our vendors, um, we worked with their engineers to help us design, um, figure out an enclosure, uh, get the angles correct for the solar. When we got the hut, um, a lot of it was just QCing it, making sure it was exactly what we wanted. We didn't want any, any areas where water, snow, wind, dust, uh, pests can get into it. We did a full mock-up of it um, before we did any painting. Um, we assembled the modules, uh, all the rails. Uh, we had to sand it because the brush finish aluminum we had was too smooth of a finish for us to trust that the paint was going to adhere correctly. One of the requirements is we had to have a specific color to it to help uh, prevent glare. The stuff we put in the paint um, was an epoxy sand, um, similar to what you would use you're going to do an epoxy garage floor. Um, it's basically just a traction material, uh, but we put it in with the roller and rolled on all the paint uh, to get the texture that it has. I really didn't think it was going to be a very good looking project um, because of the specifications we had, um, but I, th I think it actually turned out looking really cool. It's very spacious, it's very clean, um, and I'm excited to see what the customer thinks of it.